Basically, we uh, make sure that we grow our database and um, and that we have a depth of knowledge and a richness to the database, so that we can understand, we analyze and understand what the audience is doing and what they're searching for, what kind of products they would like, and we create products and innovate around the data that we have. And obviously, with regards to technology, that's a, a platform basis to to a certain extent. So we can create different kind of products on different kind of platforms, um, and then we have a lot of uh, live events, um, education and uh, expos and things as well that we do around so we know a little bit about what uh, the audience is looking for, what their clients are looking for. We create also live events as well. In the market, yes. In our project, not yet. Uh, we are basically working on um, uh, an operation that is addressing uh, more um, uh, social media, yes, on mobile, uh, but uh, uh, it's not a big chunk of our business, so to say. It's, I would say, a passive uh, way to look at it, not an active way to look at it. We're not building, in our case, in Brazil yet, a uh, platform specifically for mobile. Though it has to be said that Border Style does have actually in um, some of the other markets some mobile apps um, that are geared towards uh, choosing patterns for downloading and so on to patterns, sewing patterns obviously. So um, of course we have localized products in different markets so you could see that our platform or our social media platforms um, also our event platforms and things like that they're, they're very much geared towards the local market most of the endemic clients are global players but they make local decisions uh, because it's based on their um, on the return on their investments on the sales that they make locally and um, those are not really big companies in the sewing industry, so they have very limited funds. So it's very, very important to them that whatever we do for them, or the content, the creation, the strategy that we provide to them, that it is actually turned into transactions for their um, sewing machines or for their, their uh, materials or their other products, sewing related products. So if you're unable to create that transaction or that conversion into actual sales with what you're doing, you won't be successful. And we have actually been extremely successful in bringing in advertisers who were not interested in going into a print only platform to going into this multi-platform approach. Uh, when we approach the endemic uh, clients with the print uh, proposal, they will say, no, thank you, they didn't even want to talk to us. Once we introduce the ecosystem that we build up around the print uh, platform, then they were interested in talking. Uh, print for us is still relevant on a uh, single copy and subscription revenue base but not as advertising. It's also very important in terms of branding, in terms of uh, being the startup platform for launching other platforms, but uh, the relevance of print is decreasing. Uh, the forecast is that will decrease even further in the business, in the in the business model that we've presented, the Burda style case in Brazil.